Hi everyone. Looks like my first commissions, commissioned pieces came out okay. Uh, nothing dripped on the shelf and they look pretty nice. Two bowls and my cream pitcher which she's going to use for a gravy pitcher. I made it maybe a half a pound more clay so it would be a little bit bigger. Um, they came out really pretty. I'm proud of them. It's going to be hard to let these go. The green dripped a little bit onto the shelf as usual but nothing happened to the pieces themselves. They came out really fine. I also threw a few test tiles in with this firing. I'd like to share the results. The three in the front from left to right are chambray and then cream over chambray. Kind of comes out a muted violet and then chambray over cream my favorite is the blue one on the right in that middle row. That's cream over moss. It breaks so beautifully. I'm probably just going to make it all blurry by getting it close, but it is fabulous. And then to the left is chambray over moss. A little bit dull, but not bad. The two green tiles are uh, Potter's Choice Jade over cream and vice versa, cream over jade. In both cases, they're, they're nice, not, not a lot of movement, but they're nice, and I didn't get any jade to drip, so maybe next time I'm going to try two dips of jade over cream, and maybe that will give me the color I want, and the cream seems to make it sort of stable. And then that little teacup is jade over chambray. Um, you can see the little piece of jade on the upper left. That's one dip of jade. It's flat, lifeless, and almost looks brown. But if I do two dip, dips of jade, then I get it to puddle all over the place. There's got to be some happy medium there somewhere. I'm not quite sure what it is. So my favorites are the jades, of course, and then the blue one on the right in the middle, which is my cream over moss, and the one in the middle in the front, which is cream over chambray. And when I say moss or chambray or cream, I'm talking about standard ceramic glazes. They're fabulous. Well, anyway, I hope this helps anybody who's using any of the glazes that I'm using. And aren't we lucky to be potters? Thanks for watching.